Hi everyone, welcome back to me, Cap Musings. It's time for a bit of a ramble. I'm really not too sure what I'm going to say. I think I'm making this video more for the sake of it, more just to spill some thoughts out there, get some ideas and stuff flowing, try and trigger the creative process in my brain a little bit, maybe try and forget that I'm feeling quite rough right now, which you can probably hear. Uh, had a cold the past few days, courtesy of people at work being ill. Unfortunately, the nature of my job being retail means you still have to go to work because it's commission based. If you don't go to work, you don't really get paid. You get some sick pay, but you know, sick pay is not amazing by any means. So you still have to soldier on, fight your way through it. That means you make other people sick, of course. And that person, namely me in this case, is then back in exactly the same situation. I'm the one that's got to go to work, soldier on, push through it, fight through it. It'll be someone else's turn soon, I'm sure. They'll have the same situation and the cycle just goes on and on. It would be different if the weather was a bit warmer. We're now halfway through March and it's still pretty cold rather frustratingly kind of hoping that maybe i mean i'm not expecting it to suddenly become you know 20 to 25 degree heat but i was kind of hoping that we'd have things just a little bit warmer by now uh hopefully this time next month we'll have a slightly better take on things once we get to the middle of april but at the moment things are not warming up as quickly as i would like them to and when you're ill and it's cold, it just feels even worse. Uh, so it's always great fun. A couple of things. Uh, I did write a review about this on my website, but I recently had the opportunity to watch Captain Marvel at the cinema. Captain Marvel, of course, being the latest instalment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, beforehand, I'd heard rumblings from a few quarters that the film was going to be you know, full of what the people like to call virtue signalling and social justice warrior rubbish and that kind of stuff. Uh, personally, I'm not sure why social justice is seen as such a bad thing. I think, you know, the people that kind of sneer at the idea are people who kind of don't necessarily understand what's meant by it. And there were people who were kind of trashing the film before they'd even seen it uh, on the grounds of, oh my God, it's a female superhero. Women can't do that. They're marginalising the men, blah, 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 blah. And I personally find all of that to be a whole big load of rubbish. Uh, you know, in the day, there were a few little points in Captain Marvel which bring up quite accurately, in my view, some of the ideas you know, some of the problems and some of the situations that women face uh, across various walks of life. Certainly, you know, women in the military, there are nods to some of the issues that they have had to face, both historically and more recently. And there are a few things around attitudes towards women, but these are not in your face throughout the whole course of the film constant gestures not by any means there's a few subtle nods to this and it's important to have some nods to this because this happens to be true to life and the people that are whining about it all i can assume is that they live in a bubble and they don't understand the real world and they certainly don't understand the real world from the perspective of women it's unsurprising perhaps that most of the people who are ranting about how horrible Captain Marvel is in how it portrays men are, are men themselves who perhaps don't have a very good understanding of the world around them. And even though the previous 20 or 21 so films in the Marvel Universe have put men pretty much front and centre of nearly all these films, one film comes along with a female superhero and they lose their minds. Oh my God, you know, we're not under threat because one film comes out with a woman superhero. It all of a sudden, doesn't mean that 
there's an agenda to hate men and to push men down. And that's not what was going on in Captain Marvel. If you actually watched the film without going in there full of, uh, you know, stereotypical notions, you might have actually realised that. Anyway, that kind of thing, you know, ranked over, as it were. Personally, I thought the film was very, very good. It wasn't all out amazing, but it was very, very good. Uh, it sows a few seeds, gives us a lot to look forward to, of course. It'll be interesting to see how things go forward uh, into Endgame and how Captain Marvel herself will, will fit into that. We had the trailer, the second, oh, excuse me, the second trailer drop for Endgame quite suddenly and unexpectedly. Wow, uh, goosebumps repeatedly the course of that trailer it's going to be an epic film it's going to be an emotional film we know that uh, Robert Downey Jr is going to be standing down as Iron Man after Endgame that's it, he's done I believe Chris Evans is quitting as Captain America as well for him, Endgame is, is the finale what that means for the characters is anybody's guess although given how high the stakes are, given how dangerous their mission is, there's no way that every character in that film walks away alive. It would be shocking if they did. It would actually kind of cheapen things a bit if every character, every hero, somehow survives Endgame. Because then that means the events of Infinity War and Endgame between them haven't really meant anything. There's no, if there's no consequences, if there's no noble sacrifice almost, I suppose, then the edge and the emotion and the passion of these films would have been for nothing. So I think there will be some kind of situation like that. But how that will take place, who we can expect to lose, who knows. But we will find out, of course, in about a month and a half. And that's going to be pretty awesome. I'm trying to get that day off work because I want to see that film on the opening day. I don't want to be having to wait a whole weekend or something and running the risk of spoilers because that would be absolutely gutting, to put it mildly. So there's no way on earth I'm not seeing that film on the opening night, on the opening day. I've got to, simple as that. And also, of course, at the same time, We have Game of Thrones coming back. And I think the episode of Game of Thrones airing that weekend will apparently feature a huge battle, one of the biggest battles ever created for for television. Which raises the question, of course, how many Starks will actually end up dying that weekend? Uh, Because after all, you've got Tony Stark amongst the others. I know he's not the same family line, shall we say. But a whole bunch of Starks. It always seems to be the Starks that pay the price on these things, don't they? So, that's kind of it for now. It's kind of random ramble. My head feels foggy. Uh, my nose certainly feels foggy. And I just... I've just had a coffee. Already I'm thinking about boiling the kettle again. Just for something hot anything along those lines, just to try and shift this horrible sensation. I'm rattling for the number of paracetamol and ibuprofen I've taken. I can't take any more just yet. But I need just something to kind of kick in properly and just clear this from my system so I can start to feel normal again. Because all I want to do is just feel normal again. Eventually, of course, it will shift another couple of days and I'm sure I feel absolutely fine. It's just so, so frustrating when you feel ill. But hopefully, by the time I do another video, I'll be back to normal, feeling fine, I'll have a lot more to say, and we'll go from there. Thank you very much, guys, for watching.